Now we will get into the fun part of knockout when you would be working with collection of items. So we will clean this up. Uh, we will take out all the view we have. Now we would be making friends. And if you know JavaScript, the way of creating a class is just like a function. You give a name, friend, and if we pass a parameter like name, and this would be a class, and this will have some property, say this dot name is equals to the name you have provided. JavaScript class is as simple as that. Now you don't have only one friend, you have a collection of friend. So we will create a collection of friend here. We can leave these two property and make a friends property. And this would be KO observable array because you have collection of friends. And observable array will observe everything in the array. So you will pass an array. For example, you have two friend. So you will create two friend from the class you have. And the way of creating object from a class is like new friend and you can pass a name of the friend. Say my first friend is Tom and comma separated every element in the array. And second friend is new friend and his name is Team. Displaying elements in an observable array is super easy. For example, I have an unordered list. So I just created this unordered list and inside unordered list, I have list item. So I created a list item inside this unordered list. Think about a for each iteration. If you have a for each iteration, for example, you have this for each code inside a for each iteration will be executed for every single item in your for each collection. So knockout works exactly same way with our unordered list. We will do a data binding and data binding would be for each. And this has to be a collection of friends. So I am telling knockout for each friend I have in the friends observable array, you will do this guy. And what we can do, we can have a span tag here. So I will create a span tag inside my list item. So this context is for every single friend and it will come for the first one and second one. And if we want to display the name of the friend, so this would be simple data bind and we want to show a text text of what name of the friend. If you look it again for each friend, this will run and we want to show the name. If we save it, come to the UI, refresh it, you see Tom and Tim. If you make some new friend and added it here, then you will make new friend and the name of your new friend is Tim. And you save it, come here, refresh, you have Tim. That's how you can display collection items in the view.